I got a hot topic today. Let's talk about a hot topic. Welcome to Dude RV. I got a hot topic today. Let's talk about a hot topic. A few weeks ago, you remember I did the video on the Bouge RV cover. I'm not using the Bouge RV cover because there's a chance of rain. So in this video, we're gonna talk about staying cool in the summer heat. Because you know, if you're gonna be camping here in Texas in the summer, it's, it's going, you're going to be hot. So there's several things that I have found to be very beneficial. And if you're new to RVing, you might find some of this to be education. And if you're an old hand, it may be stuff that you're well aware of. We're going to do it anyway. All right. First and foremost, in a motor home, you have the terrarium effect, which is the, the glass. I have been using for quite some time just the cover to keep, well, number one, it keeps the dogs from being able to see out and our rat terriers will go screaming at other dogs if they can see out. That doesn't do much to block the UV rays. So when I'm looking for a campsite or when I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna camp, I'm looking for, first and foremost, trees. I want shade, <laughs> naturally, but it's gotta be the right kind of shade. This campsite faces due north. So the sun is coming up over here, and then it is setting over here. The last thing you want to do is have the nose of your RV pointed to the sun. Now, if you've got a travel trailer or a fifth wheel, it, it's not that much of a concern for you, but the, the less time the sun spends on the side of your RV, the better off you are. So ideally you want to be pointing, you want the front of the RV pointing east if there's, if there's no shade. But if you can find shade, the most important shade is on the settings, the afternoon sun side, because that's when it gets the hottest. So the sun, is well shaded on the east here and pretty well shaded on the west so i'm not getting a whole lot of solar gain on the slide we clear on that you want you want shade on the west side of course you, you figured that out the awning comes into play the awning is not just for you i mean it is for you but it also helps keep the inside of the rv cool by minimizing the amount of sun exposure on the wall. But you have to be mindful of leaving the awning out if there is a chance of wind because you could end up like we did where you've lost your awning. The basics of, of site selection and uh, helping to minimize the heat gain. Now in our class C, we only have one air conditioner and it's not enough. So I've made a modification. I, I greatly I considered long and hard. We thought long and hard about installing another roof mounted AC. And, and I could do it over the master. We may not stay in this RV and therefore we don't want to spend that money we love miss v but we may be going somewhere else rather than adding a second roof ac system we had this from when the air conditioning went out at the house a couple years ago and i thought well you know that, that wouldn't be too difficult to, to to install so we've we've got the crank out windows I find that this, this really helps minimize because a little bit of air leaks there. It's not a permanent installation, so it doesn't devalue the, the motor home, but that helps keep the, the, that's a layer of insulation from where the hot air is blowing out. 
that's really all it is. We weren't sitting on this part of the dinette. Occasionally, someone would sit here, but, but for the most part, we never sit back here. It's kind of awkward to get in, especially for me because I'm tall. So I just took the cushion and created a platform here so that the AC won't slide while I'm driving down the road. And there's nothing in that box. Well, there is. There's a, an inverter that sits right in the middle of it. Horrible place for the inverter uh, because I can't use that for anything. Paracord. And that's screwed down to that plywood on the bench seat. So it, you know, I've had a, a couple hard brake checks. It doesn't move. And that's just enough AC combined with the roof mount AC to make it comfortable in here on, on the hottest of days, provided we have the shade situation sorted out. Now, if we're in the direct sun, uh, that's questionable. That's, then we go outside. Of course, I spend most of my time outside anyway. And since I'm always sitting outside, I, ha I needed a cool patio. So over the years, I've kind of tweaked and tweaked and tweaked until I've got my, my patio cooler right. And this is going to, I'll have links to this stuff in, on my Amazon influencer page. You'll be able to find all this stuff. It's down there in the description if, if you want it. So this is a, a coil up mister. Now you, there's plastic ones, but you can't coil them up and they're, they're difficult for the RV. You know, you, you can't just stick them in a storage bag. But this one, it'll coil up. I added a second, or a Y valve and a second nozzle. So we've got four nozzles creating a, a pretty heavy mist cloud. We've got the Utilitech Pro fan. Now this, I've had this for quite some time. It fits inside of our master bed. So it, it's, it's just an RV fixture. It moves, moves a lot of air. I've just added that and that is the bomb because it is a blower not a fan it moves a lot of air in a little package and it actually projects it much farther out so we can actually feel you can feel that wind blowing from here and it's just enough with the mist to make it tolerable when you're sitting on the patio so that is staying cool when you're RVing in the heat. If you've got some things that, that you do to stay cool on your RV patio in the heat, hey, tell us about it down there in the comment. That I'm always open to new ideas of being of how to get cool when I'm out RV camping. I appreciate y'all watching. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, Remember to click on the subscribe button and click the bell as well. That way you'll never miss another production from Dude RV. For those of you who have been following along, thank you very much. I'm so deeply honored. Y'all come back now, you hear?